Welcome to this EdgeCam Tech Tip showing how to extract silhouette geometry from the solid model. The machining for this solid requires stock that is an extrusion, which we'll have to create in the active EdgeCam session. Looking in from the left side of the part, we can see the shape that the extrusion will need, but we don't have a single face on the part that captures the entire cross section. So, we're going to need to go to the Features tab and choose the Geometry command and extract a silhouette. Notice that silhouettes can be created from individual faces as well as the solid body. Using the tab key, we'll tab to select the entire solid and create a silhouette. Notice the silhouette is created in the z-axis of the current CPL. Obviously the top CPL is not the one that we want for this silhouette. Let's choose left. This sets the z-axis to be perpendicular to the face of the part and will result in the cross section that we're looking for. We'll use the body face silhouette option again, and this time the proper shape is created at the Z level that is active, in this case Z0. Let's go analyze what's been built and notice that it is called a continuous, which is a block that contains all 10 entities. That's going to create some problems for stock. Let's begin by attempting to create stock, and we'll set the shape to profile, and using what workflow already knows about the part, we'll set a suitable depth and notice that we're unable to choose the shape on the screen. That's because the stock command wants primitive lines and arcs. So first we want to explode that continuous into its base entities, lines and arcs. And now that that's been done, we can go back and use the stock command with the same setup. And we'll be able to double click the left button and easily chain those shapes and create the stock. Now I want to go to a top view and a top CPL and we'll correct the coordination of the stock to part assembly. We'll do that by using the ability to move just the part an eighth of an inch in the x-axis. And now we can continue on with adding a fixture and connecting this to the machine to create the virtual setup and then on to building toolpath. 